Devin Haney might find himself in a precarious situation because of the statements he's making, potentially leading to trouble for him in the future. There's concern that Devin might unintentionally walk into a situation he doesn't want. If Devin doesn't become more astute quickly, the only path for him to achieve his desired status will become notably riskier. If he continues being overconfident, he might eventually face consequences. Initially, talking can help elevate one's position, but eventually, those in the know won't be swayed, especially when they hold significant power and money. Despite the enthusiastic supporters, they won't influence these influential figures. Currently, the professional boxing world is unsettled due to accusations of performance-enhancing drug use targeting the emerging talent, Devin Haney. The boxing world was rocked by accusations led by Floyd Mayweather, a legend in the sport, which have overshadowed Devin Haney's promising career. These allegations have sparked doubts about the sport's integrity. Mayweather claimed that the 25-year-old lightweight contender had easily manipulated his drug test, creating a shockwave within the boxing community. This assertion triggered a heated debate regarding Haney's innocence, guilt. Haney vehemently denied Mayweather's claim, expressing strong indignation and asserting his purity. He challenged his former mentor to present solid evidence supporting the allegations. However, Haney's passionate response only intensified the controversy, leading to further speculation about the validity of his recent drug test. Haney's physical transformation has become a hot topic in the boxing world, drawing considerable attention and scrutiny. Critics, including both opponents and fans, have raised doubts about the authenticity of Devin Haney's muscular build, with some suggesting the possibility of him using performance-enhancing drugs, PEDs. Floyd Mayweather stands as one of the most vocal critics, openly stating his belief that Haney's muscle growth seems unnatural and alleging that Haney may be manipulating drug tests to hide PED use. Haney strongly refutes these accusations, attributing his muscular physique to rigorous training and commitment in the gym. He emphasizes that he has consistently passed all drug tests. Recently, boxing journalist Jed I. Goodman shared the inspector's checklist for bodyweight checks before and after weigh-ins, contributing to the ongoing scrutiny surrounding Devin Haney's weight-related issues. During the weigh-in, Devin Haney was documented at 140.0 pounds, adhering to the junior welterweight limit. However, on the day of the event, his weight spiked to 165 pounds, drawing attention. Gervonta Davis expressed strong opinions about this situation. He questioned Haney's affiliation with Victor K., the owner of Snack Nutrition, who assists Haney with his nutrition. Davis insinuated whether Haney had been caught cheating previously by the snack team. Additionally, he criticized Eddie, presumably Haney's promoter, for almost allowing someone to fight despite catching them cheating before. While Haney's denials might seem credible, the rapid increase in muscle mass raises eyebrows. Within a few days, Haney reportedly gained over 25 pounds, an extraordinarily swift rate of muscle growth, even for a professional athlete. Javonta Davis implied that such rapid muscle gain, without the use of performance-enhancing drugs, is highly unlikely. According to most experts, gaining over a pound of muscle per week without assistance from performance-enhancing drugs is highly challenging. Hence, Devin Haney's rapid muscle development has prompted valid queries regarding the authenticity of his physique. While Haney might not be using PEDs, his physique doesn't align with the typical pattern of natural muscle growth. His remarkable muscle gain during the fight on Saturday, accounting for an 18% increase in body weight, stands out. This measurement was observed across the entire fight card with almost everyone, except for possibly two individuals, gaining over 10% of their body weight, twice as much as usual. This significant deviation from the norm caught the attention of the authorities in California. They marked this particular statistic in red on the sheet provided, indicating it was a matter worth examining or of concern. This was seen as a health and safety issue, potentially constituting sanctioned cheating. During the official weigh-in, Haney registered at 140 pounds, but reportedly underwent a striking rehydration, escalating his weight to 165 pounds on the fight night, a substantial 25 pounds gain. This drastic overnight increase in weight sparked allegations of manipulating weight, leading to accusations that Haney might have gained an unfair advantage over P.R. Grace. Critics raised concerns about the fairness of the fight, questioning how Regis could compete against Devon with a 25-pound weight disparity, deeming it unjust. They argued that such a significant weight difference favored Haney, granting him an undue strength and power edge over Progray. This considerable gap in weight, they believed, could have affected the fight dynamics, 
potentially compromising the fairness of the competition. Regarding urine tests, they function by measuring drug metabolites in the system. Critics pointed out that the easiest way to dilute these metabolites within acceptable ranges is by drinking excessive amounts of water. However, laboratories are aware of this method and can detect such attempts to manipulate test results. They employ specific tests to detect attempts at diluting urine samples, and one of these tests involves checking creatinine levels, a metabolite linked to creatinine. When excessive water is consumed, natural creatinine levels decrease. To bring them back to acceptable norms without raising suspicion, one might resort to supplementing with creatine 24 to 48 hours before the test. However, this scenario assumes a direct observational test, where the individual knows they're being monitored and lacks access to a device like a whizinator. This insight comes as a surprising twist in the narrative involving a boxing legend. Floyd Mayweather recently sparked controversy with a statement about Bill Haney, the father and trainer of current lightweight champion, Devin Haney. Known for his outspoken nature, Mayweather raised eyebrows by suggesting that Bill Haney's past as a former drug dealer might provide him with unique knowledge on circumventing performance-enhancing drugs tests and other drug screenings. In a candid interview, Mayweather implied, You know Bill Haney? He's been around the block. He used to be involved in a different scene, if you catch my drift. In that world, you learn how to outsmart the system, how to stay ahead. It's like playing chess. You need to know the moves. When it comes to drug tests, Bill Haney probably knows all the angles, all the tricks. Mayweather's unexpected remarks have stirred intense discussions within the boxing community. Critics argue that such implications could undermine the integrity of drug testing procedures in the sport. While some question the relevance of Bill Haney's past concerning his son's boxing career, in 1992, at 22 years old, Bill Haney confronted a pivotal moment. He was convicted for possession and conspiracy to distribute two kilograms of cocaine, resulting in a 40-month prison sentence. This conviction, predating Devin's birth, originated from Bill's participation in drug-related activities in Oakland, California. Bill initially sought a new beginning by attending college in Kentucky, but became entangled with individuals involved in drug sales. Upon returning home for the summer, he engaged with local associates, leading to his arrest. Bill's involvement in drug-related activities dated back to his teenage years, reflecting the challenges he faced and the unexpected turns his life took. He grew up in Oakland, a city known for its issues with drugs. Luckily, Devin's birth brought about a complete change in his life. In a recent press conference, Devin and Bill Haney made headlines with bold statements alleging that Mayweather promotions, led by boxing legend Floyd Mayweather and their starfighter Gervonta Davis, are scared to death of facing them in the ring. The Haney camp claimed that the avoidance was apparent in what they labeled as a string of false accusations aimed at crafting a narrative to avoid a potential showdown. Let me tell you the real deal, declared Devin Haney confidently. He said, they know we're a threat and they're scared. Scared to death. Floyd and Gervonta don't want to step in the ring with me because they know I'm the real deal. Bill Haney, Devin's father and trainer, joined in, accusing Mayweather promotions of using tactics to dodge a matchup. Bill said, they're resorting to false accusations, creating distractions, anything to avoid facing Devin. But the truth is, they recognize the skill, the talent, and they know it's a dangerous fight for them. They talk about a big game, but when it comes down to it, they're doing everything to dodge us. We're ready for anyone, anytime. They can't run forever. The Haney camp highlighted what they saw as a recurring pattern of evasion, suggesting that the hesitation to face Devin stemmed from fear. So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.